Hello, everybody. My name is Aftermath. Welcome to a quick round of Lee Element TD Co-op. We are playing all random. That means we get stuff and we have to deal with that. And I got Hydro. Um, so I'm going to put up a Hydro Tower first. Uh, first thing in the morning. And I'm going to put it down here. It's going to be glorious. Bam! But that's a like. Oh, there's somebody talking. I should use my headset. Oh, alright. Sorry, can you repeat? What did you say? I don't know what to do. I'm the first time. Go there. In this, in this zone. And build. And build. That this is your zone. Bottom left. Everybody takes two zones, basically. It's like element TD. Do you, do you have two elements? You got them for... Uh, because we're playing random, just build things with them. I don't think he's getting it. I don't think he's getting it at all, as a matter of fact. Oops, that, that could be interesting. Wow, we have somebody that literally didn't have... that did build anything. Well, why? No, don't build there, you need to build more in the center. This is a co-op map, you can't play alone. Well, we already lost uh, a few life points. Well, that is very interesting. And I guess it's um, well time to not do that anymore by, by not being bad at the game. Also, you need to upgrade your towers. Right now, you can only really get the magic tower, but he's pretty alright. Like, upgrading is almost always better than building a new one. It is exponentially. Don't do this. Please build in the center. Please sell the tower and build in the center. You want to cover more than one lane at the same time. Those are pretty good spots to build at. So I'm kind of trying to explain people that they should build in a way where multiple lanes are defended. I guess that is a lot of things to ask, eh? What? Uh, by the way, why does everything have time lapse? Well, I mean, the first two had revival, but those two have time lapse. Like, I mean, it doesn't matter if I get killed at all because, considering the fact that um, we basically share all the money anyway, like the team does share your money, so I guess that's totally fine. Okay, next is a Dark Tapuro. I don't do any damage. Oh, actually, do I? Because I'm at an Earth. For, um, it's, an, uh, it's an Earth Tower, not a Water Tower. Well, it also means that I could farm some interest while I'm waiting for uh, some more of the uh, elements to unlock. And that can be done by, I guess, simply, uh, as always, taking a few waves, uh, really. Uh, oh, my, my sound went off. That That's that, that's convenient. I didn't want that to happen. I changed my recording settings. I'm recording completely different now, which is why my um, my face can no longer unsynchronize from my actual... Actually, let me change this really quick on the fly. Here we go. Um, no longer unsynchronized on the video because it's now the same level because I'm now using OBS Studio. OBS is shit, OBS Studio is amazing, my CPU was never not uh, in this uh, not strained before, no longer I, do I have any lags, uh, it is a fucking joy, it is amazing, and I can finally stream again. I kinda waited for this so long, I'm really happy about it, to be honest. Cool, sure. Um... Okay, so my sound should be completely back now. I got a new uh, random element, which is a what? Oh, a polar. We can get polar towers. That's a pretty all right. Quite all right, quite so. Um, I'm gonna get this guy um, a light tower up, which later will become a quark tower. This will help um, this border here a little bit. Maybe we can pl put this a little bit smarter. Yeah, because if I put this here... Yeah, that is just smarter. And the Quark Tower later will do damage as well. Um, just, you know, for extra help. 
in case we ever need that. Everything is becoming fine. All right, so we are um, doing quite well right now. Oh, by it's having eight, 19 <laughs> leaks on the first wave, which was kind of weird. But hey, then again, it really matters not at all. This, the thing about co-op is it doesn't matter how bad or good you start off. Um, if your team is alright and you are alright and you're playing alright, you can still win it later. It's contrary to solo where you screw each other by being too good, for example. Like, if I would be too good or somebody else would be too good, you are screwed because you just are. Uh, since the creeps spawn fucking fucked on the faster and that's just always not very good. Of course, this is not so much the case here, as it is um, quite apparent that you're all work together. As fast as the kill speed is, it's better for the whole group. And, well, there's uh, really no way to grief everybody, I guess. Since even if you get all the kills because you, you spawn uh, towers at the entrances, it is completely split evenly for everybody. Co-op is fun. Co-op is a lot of fun. I really like this mode, I think it's great. Can't wait for the PvP slash send mode that is hopefully gonna happen at one point. I really, really would love that. That would be great and amazing. But then again, that's far away. I guess you can take like some inspiration from, what's it called? Um, Furza's defense when it comes to that. As a matter of fact, that might be a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack Noia with that. I have an idea how to do it. Maybe he's open for it. Yeah, yeah, that could work. Yeah, it could work. Okay, first, is, I, I don't have to complete pattern ahead. That, that was obviously not it. What I just draw on the map it was just a bullshit. But basically, the gist of first's defense is that you have four panels really and all of them are symmetric from one another and you send to the right and you get sent from the left so if you're bottom left the bot um, if you're top left the bottom left player will send you enemies and you would send enemies to the top right one if the top right dies you send to the bottom right one if that dies to the bottom left one and um that 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 that, that makes sure that you can't feed and grief the game too much but basically the tlda of that is is a very interestingly balanced uh, tower defense game. You can also play 1v1 or as three people since uh, the, the, it's always a, tri a triangle or uh, basically always a quartet and it's always going to the left. It's pretty It's pretty cool actually. Yeah, yeah. Nice, we have a quark tower. Ooh, water level 2. Very good. Very good indeed. Now oh, we can get some of those thick, really strong water towers that are really strong. Great. So we are already at wave 10. That's perfect. I guess. And everything is going fine. Just as it's supposed to. We all have a net worth of 1, 3, 3, 7. We are the leads. Elites. One of us is really cashing in on that interest money though. Yes, uh, the, the blue player has the most money in the bank. Doesn't want to look to change that anytime soon, too. It's good, good job, Quark Tower. Good job. You know that that was good. I, that, that is something I can appreciate. You know, Quark Tower. That that's amazing. I can appreciate you. How does the help out with? I understand. Okay, and now I understand how the health bar works. I think we're doing pretty fine. What the fuck is this? It looks amazing, but also pretty stupid.
So, there's different models for this game if you are the kind of player that likes to buy a pass. You can buy different, like, um, wow. You can get different models. It's pretty funny. Double votes. Oh, play, pass, flare, and play avatar. Alright, and you can, you can select different, like, builders. You have a little button. You can, you can select, like, a golden T-Rex. Boy, that's pretty fun. I'm not advocating anything, but I'm saying that I know you know you and he's a great guy and he deserves it, so buy this battle pass for what, 99 cents in a fucking month? You can handle that. Come on. You get stuff. I guess. And achievements. And so on. Maybe. I don't know. I don't have those people on my front list. Who's Windstrike? I don't know that guy. Actually, I do. I just haven't talked to him in a fuck, a fuck long time. Gee. Now I'm banking on the um, interest cash. I'm not seeing any reason not to. We are doing so fine right now, and I think that we're gonna lose the next few waves. No reason for us not to bank a little bit on our interest cash. Which by now should be some something, at least. We need more defenses here, really. The soft AoE makes this all the better. Micro tower, please, micro. Come on, good job. We need more defenses on that lane. Dark. Ooh, that means I can get Eliza to... Uh, I might, I might should do that at 1.2. I don't know it though. Not yet. Not yet. Definitely not yet. I'm gonna bank more on my interest cash. I want a lot of interest cash. Yeah, quite the, um, quite the weird thing to do, right? All right then, sure. Let's 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 wait more. Composite bulky. Oh, that means they tank more and give more money, or it doesn't doesn't it? Yeah, I think that was the meat, of, meat and bone of the situation. How high is the chance? Does it specify at all? 50%. It doesn't feel like 50%. It feels like a whole bunch more, to be honest. So now my Quark Tower is doing what he's supposed to do. He's attacking two lanes, which is great. That means that my tower placement isn't that bad. It's not about the towers you place, it's about the value of towers you have. Towers of great value. I think. Unsure, to be honest. The thing is with the Quark Towers, he is only attacking those creeps if they come here, and if they come here, those creeps already have passed, so it's good placement. Yeah. Like right now, where he just burns some fuckers. Oh, I'm sorry, that was not intended. So we have a few elements so far, five. And I think we should get one soon again, I hope. Really do. More elements is always fun. But I'm also banking on that interest cash. Yeah, we can hold this all by barely. We can hold. And we held. How can you have only half the net worth of other players? I don't understand. 
<laughs> oh, because he was upgrading something. I understand now. It makes me quite understandable. It is quite understandable indeed. After you have started to understand things. Yes. Understandance is uh, the greatest gift of... Uh... Man, I should stop talking. Sometimes I'm just full of shit. Next wave, strong or earth is strong against it. So my idol tells it you're gonna do something. Yay! Now if you splash a little bit more, that would be great. I'm still banking on my cash, pretending that I know of nothing. My name is so evil. Playing so egocentrical right now just because I want my interest cash. But I really want my interest cash, you don't understand. Oh, what was light and dark? Poison, no, it wasn't poison. It was trickery tower, hmm. And what was water and dark? Poison. I don't know if that's any good. Let's start with a laser tower. And upgrade this to a bowler tower. And we got a poison tower. As soon as we can afford one. I want to be more placed around here though. But then it doesn't actually do... Alright, sure. I'm gonna give it maximum value, and this would be this position. Alright, next one. It's weak against the... Oh. Well, my poison tower isn't gonna do anything this time. I'd love to be able to t keep track of it, but hey, game doesn't allow that. Oh, somebody has life towers, I can tell, we have more than 100 lives again. It took me a while to realize that, but I can tell. To be very long to realize that, as a matter of fact. But I guess it doesn't matter how long it took me to realize it. As soon as, I, as long as I realize it in the first place. Yeah, I so this this is going very well. Oh, by having an absolute disaster of a start. I mean, jeez, come on. They're really not that, you know. If I just upgrade this tower, maybe he gets stronger. I mean, that's pretty decent AoE, so I mean, why the hell not? Oh, we're leaking again, not good. Try to get some real elements here. Come on, guys. I believe in the 5% chance of getting exactly whatever I need all the time. 4,000. Alright, that's fairly dealable. A 4th attack deals a pretty strong AoE in your I can handle. Yeah, it's going pretty well so far. Erosion Tower. That's how it looks like. Oh. 
Very interesting. Didn't know. Water level 3, alright. Not getting water towers right now would be kinda stupid, I guess. Time to get water towers up the bumhole. So they, the enemies can now eat my poo, poo Oh, what? One of us disconnected. No fun. I guess I need to upgrade it fully to make it work, or oh, this wave was just not very good for water. Thanks for getting a gold tower. Gold towers at core might actually be a really good idea for the single reason that everybody benefits from them. So having one player who goes gold towers, one player who goes... Oh my god! The min mixer in me just started speaking. What if one player goes gold tower, one player goes all the amp towers, one player goes all the debuff towers, and one player goes all the damage towers? Damn, son! That's a lot of towering you can do there. This is the weakest link by a long shot. And I understand that placing my tower there was maybe not the smartest idea, so let me pl replace it somewhere else. Did it, did it. Sure. 1200 more gold, and I can get my high level power towers. Whoa. Ha! Huh. They are bulky. They take a lot of damage. Don't they don't feel like dying either. Who the fuck drives a? Oh, they do. I have, I have a laser tower. They they literally just die. Who the hell drives a fucking motorcycle at 2 a.m.? That makes no goddamn sense. Again, if you're wondering why I'm recording at 2 a.m., the story is very easy. It's fucking hot. End of story. <laughs> I want to record if it's hot because that is literally counterproductive. The water tower isn't actually doing anything, I feel. At all. Didn't they used to be kind of stronger? Not having nature's free isn't gonna make anything easier, by the way. Just saying. Yeah, well, I guess the highest level of water tower is doing anything, at least a little bit. Not too much, but still, it's fine. Starting to fall a little bit apart here and there, but again, not a big problem, we can deal. Ooh, a pure essence has been random for me, what? Let's make this water tower pure again. I didn't get a new element, I just got a pure essence.
Yeah. I, I kind of need another set. I, I just want more elements, please. Game plus. Give me some things. Give me, throw me a bone here. Have some fun. Or actually allow me to have fun. Doesn't look like I'm supposed to be having fun right now. Because, like, where, when, when is the element level? I have four, five, six, no. Three, six, seven. I have seven. Hmm. Wait. Well then. I don't know what to do, so I'm just gonna spank some cash. I want to build another of those um, tower uh, of those venomants or poison towers here, for the sole expressions of only being able to uh, be only being there to kill a bit more of this lane here, because it seems to be starting to get a little bit rough around the edges. I don't have a single triple tower that I could possibly upload to upload data level two, which is really annoying actually. I know I definitely know where I'm gonna pure it up later. But first, the second water tower should make um, a little bit more DPS. A little DPS help would probably be already very helpful indeed. I mean, you never fucking know. Ah, a fire tower. Well, per perfect. That will help the most, because now I can actually have some slowed enemies. The Nova Tower will help with that a lot, and then I can actually have my Water Tower dish out some real damage. Yeah, sounds about right. I think we are pretty fine so far. I think it's going pretty alright. Nice! Ooh, Earth level 2. Now I can get my first triple tower to level 2, which is this. And it's not a polar tower, it's the Mark tower. Well, I guess I know where I'm gonna put it now. The Mark tower has a pretty low range. So I'm guess having a tower around there should be perfect for it. Huh. Fair. Fair dues. <laughs> oh, we dropped below 100 life points. Now it's getting iffy. Ten percent heal is not a lot. Apparently, you're not really feeling it. 
kind of annoying. Now we're dropping life points. Man. Starting to go haywire. We I think we build too much on one end and too little on other ends. Like the defense we have. This is um, too much defense on the bottom left. We need some more on the top. Please help, Mr. Blue. Three gold towers also not very good. They stack not very well. Figured that out in my gold decor experiments. Mostly there. I don't really want him to overcommit, but a little bit of a more help tower here should be really helpful, really. Now I can get a level 2 mark tower. No, not quite. So it's not really my fault that I almost only got garbage. A lot of garbage, actually. Really want darkness to level 3 now. This is just not enough damage. And the chances of me getting the second level for the this laser tower is very lit grim right now. So instead I'm just gonna get another level 3 water tower. It's more damage. What do you want? More than damage. The more damage you have, the less damage you need. Eh? Professional players get my reference, yo. You're just not a professional enough. I'm not a fiend. Everything falls apart and goes to shit. We're just leaking at this point. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship, I'd say. Maybe we are all pretty unlucky with our elements. Yeah, kinda looks like that. Got another pure sense. <laughs> Not really able to do anything with that, sadly. Can't even sell it for money. This one is Earth. We have no nature damage. I, I don't have any, at least. This is the average from Zero to Hero gameplay video, featuring gameplay that goes from Zero to Hero. And from Hero to Shit. Everything lags, by the way, right now, in case you were wondering if my PC is shit. No, no, no. It's just a crap ton of mobs. It's not helping that they are leaking.
What wouldn't I give for a fucking level 2 Polar Tower? That would be so great right now. We only have 36 life left, so I guess we can prepare our anus because we're gonna eat the poopo. Very soon and then just die. That's a lot of timber saws that are leaking. Sen, I should probably spend my money. Nah, man, shit's cash. Shit's cash. Okay, we're played. Thanks for watching. My name has been Aftermath, and as always, thanks for watching. My name has been Aftermath, and as always, thanks for watching. My name has been Aftermath, and as always, my name is Aftermath. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Sorry, my name is Artem, thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys next time, and don't forget to uh, leave a comment. How about, we leave it to how about we leave comments today? Goodbye.